Today we have a Striker Glass Cannon Armor on Kill build for you. It's shared with me from his fans and from our community. You may also know him as Paul. And it's his very first video that he's done on his YouTube channel. If you're a member of our community and you want your content shared on the GC Rock community channel, you just need to get in touch with me like Paul did, and we'll get this video out there for our community. And you also get a shout out like this. As I said, this is his first video that he's ever done. Be sure to also go show Paul some love as well. I'm going to link his channel down below in the video description. He said if that video gets over 100 likes, I think he said, he'll make another one. So let's make sure he makes some more videos. It's really good. I'm going to show it you in full now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is Chris Stanton here coming to you with my first ever Division 2 build video. Um, I've been playing this game for quite some time now um, and I've learned a lot about different builds. I'm by no means a build expert um, so don't take too much of what I say uh, <laughs> to heart. However, I have been fiddling around um, with a few builds recently. Um, I do like something with a high DPS. Um, but I'm also not very good at gaming, so I don't like to be too squishy. So I think I've found the perfect build. Um, I'm not a big fan of faff when it comes to build videos, so I'm going to jump straight into it. Um, quick build breakdown showing you all the stats, and then um, we'll put a bit of gameplay in afterwards. So I'm using the gunner spec um, first and foremost, because I do want that um, extra bit of survivability where you get the armor on kill um, also the refreshing of the ammo does help um, primary weapon and pretty much the only one I use is the FAMAS um, really big fan of the FAMAS I know a lot of people aren't um, but I do really like that and of course we've got um, assault rifle damage health damage damage to target out of cover um, and also killer um, I've messed around with quite a few different talents um, and I just find that killer really does help get that extra DPS Agent with the crit chance backup. upon kill. Um, sorry, the crit damage upon kill. Um, I've also had preservation on there um, which does help sort of stay alive a bit longer again. Um, however, I tend to find that's a little bit overkill with the uh, rest of the build, especially the gloves that I've got as you'll see in a moment. Um, mods, I've just gone with crit chance, pretty much everything apart from the extended mag. You really do want that, and that gives you the 50 rounds in the chamber. Um, the standard fur to you just forever reloading, to be fair, um, which is really frustrating. Um, secondary, I've gone with the rock and roll. To be fair, I'm not very good at remembering to switch between weapons, so I hardly ever use that. Um, it is quite useful when you're using the striker's gear set to stack your stacks um yeah um but i tend to find because the famas is such a high rate of fire i generally don't really need to stack stacks it's useful in dark hours um but apart from that mm, don't really use it it's quite useful if you suddenly run out of ammo and someone gets a bit close to you you can whip that out and have away um but yeah don't really use that busy little b is definitely definitely the sidearm for me um, when I remember to use it, um, I presume that you're going to know what the uh, what the um, talent is, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. Um, but yeah, when you do remember to switch to that and use it, it really, really does help. Um, and also, I find if I run out of ammo for my FAMAS, then that's actually quite a decent weapon just for getting the last few ads cleared. I haven't optimised that yet because I don't really use it enough. Um, so the actual gear pieces itself, I've gone for four-piece strikers, um, which is a bit of an obvious choice at the moment. I have tried other builds, um, but I really do quite enjoy the strikers. Um, and on all the pieces, I've pretty much gone crit chance um, on the mods and the uh, and the stats on the mask. On the backpack. We've gone for crit damage and a crit chance mod. Um, and also weapon damage, obviously. On the holster, we've gone crit damage and, uh, yeah, weapon damage. And on the knee pads, I've gone for a little bit of extra armor just to bring that up to the 1.2. Um, I was running this at the uh, sort of 900 or whatever it is armor uh, with this as a weapon damage core. 
Um, but I just found I was going down far too often, so I thought, yeah, just a little bit of extra armour. Um, and since I've changed it to that, yeah, it's helped massively. Um, and crit chance on the attribute as well, though. I'm not going to go into the uh, benefits of the strikers. I'm sure you're aware of that. And I don't like it when everybody keeps reading word for word exactly what it is. Um, chess piece, I've gone for the Cheska. Obviously, just to get that crit chance um, towards the cap that little bit more. Um, we've gone with damage, chance and, and damage. Um, and yeah, glass cannon. So, um, I've always played glass cannon pretty much since I started playing. Um, I just find that that extra amplified damage is too much to, to put down, especially on top of your strikers' bonuses um, and whatever else is on there. Um, it really is just too strong. Um, you just got to make sure that you sort of play in cover, really. Um, if your play style's running and gunning, you're not going to get on with this very well. Um, but if you're a bit more cautious like me and try and sit reasonably towards the back of a room um, in cover, then, yeah... You should be just fine. It does obviously um, take you by surprise sometimes if you get a rusher or a, or a drone bastard that comes in. You have got to be a bit careful. But um, yeah, I, I really enjoy playing glass cannon. I think I've got GC Rock to thank for that. His uh, <laughs> when he first started raiding, I, I went on one of his teams and he was oh yeah glass cannon this glass cannon that and I've uh, not put it down since. Um, the piece that I think is most interested in this build or. That's not really interesting, is it? But um, what gives you a little bit more survivability are these death grips. Now, it took me weeks, probably even months, to find a decent pair of these. Um, I hate PvP. That's, yeah, PvP. Absolutely hate it. Um, I'm almost 40. My reactions are not very good. And like I said earlier, I'm generally quite crap at gaming, to be honest. Um, so I knew I wanted a set of these, so I just bashed out the countdown. Um, got the named item caches and finally managed to get myself a reasonably decent set. Um, just in case you haven't seen these, the um, thing I really like about these is you get the extra 10% armour on kill. Um, so I've already got the armour on kill from the gunner spec and then you get an extra 10% armour on kill from these. Um, which is really a game changer on this build. The amount of times I've nearly sort of flatlined and then I've just picked off two or three NPCs um, very quickly in a row and, and got pretty much my armour back. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. The 10% health is well, negligible, isn't it? Um, but yeah, the armour on kill, really, really good. And I've stuck crit damage on there. I think they came with explosive resistance to begin with. Um, but yeah, crit damage is on there. Um, the skills... Oh, I don't really use... I don't use them as much as I should. The Reviver Hive, obviously, um, yeah, crucial. If you're, well, not crucial, but if you're not very good at gaming and you're playing solo, I would definitely recommend Reviver Hive. Um, and then I've gone for the Riot Foam. Um, that's quite useful, especially if you're doing bounties or you're doing a lot of sort of solo heroic stuff. Um, you can get those um, the sort of elite or the named bosses stuck in place while you just take them out very quickly. Um, so yeah, I would recommend that. Um, obviously, you've got the right foam grenade as well. Um, yeah, really, really useful stuff. It only sticks them for a, a few seconds, but it can be the difference between getting the job done and not. Um, so let's just have a look to see what that looks like on the old stats. So yeah, 58.7 crit chance. Can't really go much higher um, without going over the cap of 60 and then wasting whatever's left. Crit damage, 160, well, 117 almost. Um, not massively high. However, with the sort of um, additional damage you get from Glass Cannon and from the Striker's gear set, um, that really is pretty good. Um, doesn't really need to be much higher than that. Um, so that's the build in a nutshell. Um, so I really, really enjoy playing this build. As you can see, I'm playing Heroic 4 Directives. Um, that's a little bit brave, to be honest with you. Um, I've, since I've changed the directives last week with the new season, it's taken me a little while um, to get used to them. Um, but it is pretty decent, to be honest with you. It, it, it's not a bad build at all. Um, I'm just thinking... Okay, so here we are at Lincoln Memorial. Um, I always like to play Lincoln Memorial to test a new build. Um, as you can probably see... 
there's a load of scavenge skills tokens on the floor because I totally messed up the first uh, <laughs> the first playthrough. Got myself in a very stupid position with Major Astra for whatever his name is, and uh, yeah, made myself look a bit silly. So I thought we'll uh, we'll try that again. I went a bit Leroy Jenkins on it, and uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Serious trauma detected. See what I mean about those death grips? Though I was literally about to uh, about to die then, and then uh, two or three NPCs later, um, and we're okay again. Mm. And also, see what I mean about me uh, sort of being a bit more cautious. I don't like running and gunning. I'm not in this game anyway. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate. I think we've got a broken bit of uh, armour, thanks to the uh, directors for the season. But that's okay. To be fair, unless you are pretty good at this game, um, you're probably not advisable to be running heroic solo with four directives really. Um uh, I like the challenge. So why not? I just want my uh, ninja bike uh, backpack. So I thought I'd just stick it on uh, the only one I haven't put on is um Pistolero that absolutely drives me insane. Oh, hello. You could run Pistolero on this build. Um, you have got the uh, the Busy V, which um, is actually really good. So you could get away with running Pistolero. However, oh, hello. However, um, it is just straight in. I don't really like it. Right, here we go. So yeah, a lot of the stuff I do on this game is solo. I do work uh, pretty strange random hours. So when you try and sort of play with a team or try and get a raid team together, it's very difficult to sort of have any form of consistency. Um, but I'm a member of GC Rock. Um, Discord server and I'd highly recommend that if you're mainly solo player but you do want a bit of help with raids or legendaries or uh, just people to play with in general then we've got over 25,000 members now and it's a completely like, non-toxic gaming environment um, which sounds a bit odd because obviously most, most gaming um, platforms are reasonably toxic I mean, don't get me wrong, we have a good bit of banter, um, but there's no sort of absolute toxicity at all if people are misbehaving in a... Oh, hello, where's that rocket from? If people are sort of being toxic and horrible, then they don't generally last very long. Um, it's not what we're about. We just like helping people. For example, um, when I first started playing... I didn't know what I was doing at all. Um, I joined up in the middle of lockdown and became a, a leader of my clan. And um, yeah, learned all the raids. Until recently, when I was on the old Xbox, that is pretty much all I did with this game, was, was raids. Um, ironically, since I've been on PC, I've hardly raided. <laughs> I think it's just the grind of getting all the builds again which really put me off, but I've done that now, so I will be starting to raid again fairly soon. Um, so it's fun, and I really love just helping people. Oh, here comes the boss. I really love just helping people um, get their um, Eagle Bear and Ravenous, really. I hate this boss. 
into a passion I really do. I normally like to make sure that a lot more of the ads have gone before bringing them out, but, oh, you, Immediate medical but assistance needed. you can't always, um, um, yeah, good. you can't always obviously get what you want, can you? Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so raids, um, yeah, just love helping people get their eagle berries, get their exotic, um, their ravenous. Um, it's really good feeling when you uh, when you do help folks. Oh, what's going on? There? Oh, I'm getting stuck in the undergrowth. Yes, I'm, I'm hardly going to win any awards for sort of most exciting gameplay, am I? But, you know what I mean? This is heroic with four directives with a average gamer. This is the only game pretty much I've ever played, really, apart from Division 1. Um, so, yeah. It's not too shabby, is it? you just got to be a bit careful. I've um, probably been a little bit more cautious than I normally am. Because I don't want to like make myself look like a tit on the video. Um, but, yeah, you can push it a little bit more than what I'm doing. But I think because I'm recording at the same time, my PC is not like... It's not a great PC. I'm not going to cover there though. I don't mind, but we'll get them all done before it matters too much anyway. Um, yeah, because it's not a great PC anyway. I'm finding that I'm lagging quite a bit whilst. Oh, hello, FOMA. Uh, whilst I'm doing this, so I don't want to sort of push too much and then end up sort of regretting it. There we go, look, was that killer procced? Yeah, it's. Um, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are, I see you. I see you. Oh, bye bye. Um, yeah, there, go, there we go. See my strikers, strikers stats pretty much halfway at the end of that battle. Um, hence one of the reasons I don't necessarily. Um, want for my um, need to stack it all the time. There we go. The long run has begun. I don't bother collecting all of the yellow boxes and whatnot. DC sixty two detected. If you haven't played this mission before then I think just ID those shells and chemical there's anyone that hasn't but you can uh, shoot all those yellow boxes and um get a few bits of loot but my library is pretty much full now I think I'm missing a couple of bits from pistols um, but generally speaking it's full so I don't tend to go out of my way too much to collect the loot and that is the problem with this game isn't it I've got pretty much all the builds that I want now um, so why do I need to go and collect all the loot I don't know about two or three months of not playing at all to be honest because I just didn't see the point anymore but you know I do enjoy it and there's a lot of people that are giving the the dev a load of grief and yeah some of the oh hello grenade oh it's right there you bastard yeah some of the um, issues that we've had recently have not been ideal, obviously, with all of the crashes and technical issues and this, that, and the other. But I'm a human at the end of the day, I can't sort of grumble too. I can't really comment too much, so I'm not exactly uh, an expert when it comes to my day job. We all make mistakes, don't we? What did Jesus say? Those without sin should cast the first stone. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I think in general, considering they're a fairly new team and a lot smaller team and underfunded compared to the previous team, 
I think they're doing a reasonable job. It'd just be really interesting to see sort of what's um this is where the grenade, uh, the the sticky foam comes in use a lot, you can just go boom, boom. Oh no, he escaped. I was about to say you go boom boom boom, take the three out without even blinking. But again, my old man aim is not very good. I don't know how people do PvP, I really, really don't. The few times that I've been in the dark zone and I've come across another player. Oh, that's what she said. Um, and I've thought, oh, they haven't seen me yet, so I'm, I'm going to kill him before he sees me. And no, no chance. Absolutely no chance. They turn around and bang, I'm dead within like a split second. And I don't even, I don't even go in with this build on. I've got like a bloody, I think a four core armor build. Which is even more embarrassing. Um, yeah, so generally I just I don't bother. I got so demoralised with sort of dark zone and conflict, or even worse in conflict. I just prob oh, hold on. probably doing something wrong. But I generally don't enjoy it. I do enjoy PVE. Okay, so about to get to the boss room. So as you can see, orders. this build, it really is pretty decent. Like, you, it's probably not for you if you're a good gamer or you're a lot more advanced to this game than I am. It's probably not ideal for you. Um, oh, I'm too. But for someone who's not very good at gaming or is a bit more casual um, but wants a build that is fun. I think, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty decent. So those death grips are awesome. This is where I... I'm running away. I was about to say, this is where I whip my uh, shotgun out and finish him off, but he ran. Right, here comes the next one. The first two waves always come from over there. I've not come down yet, I am going to try and focus this, uh, his backpack if possible. Oh, come on. Um, right, and now we've got the, uh, we've got those fingers coming down from there. And the major heat. We will also fold like a cheap suit. Oh, hello. What have we got here? Tardy grade, right? I don't know why I got so excited when I saw the exotic then because uh, I've got them all. Actually, I tell you, like the only one I haven't got is a big horn. Um, but it's always exciting, isn't it, when you see an exotic drop, especially when you're recording your first video ever. Uh, so there we go. That is um, the build. So, I don't think we went down at all in that mission, did we? I think that was flawless. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I enjoy it. Anyway, if you've got any comments, any questions, um, probably best not to ask me, but have a go. I'll have a go. <laughs> Put them in the comments. Um, please do like the video, even if you didn't like it. I'd really appreciate it. Um, just to see that somebody's bothered watching, to be honest, would be nice. But I say, if you want to join a community, um, head over to the GC Rock um, Discord server. Um, really good community there, and uh, we'll be glad to welcome you into one of our clans. And if you feel, if you uh, put my teeth back in, even if you're already in a clan and you just want a community to um, play with, you're more than welcome to do that. But as you can see, our clans um, are reasonably active. We've got eight, eight on at the moment. Um, and we're reasonably active. There's normally sort of round that number on. Um, so, yeah, pop on over and uh, you'll be welcome. Anyway, thank you for watching if you have. Um, if you haven't, I don't know why I said that because you won't be hearing this anyway. Um, if I get 100 views or more, which I probably won't, I'll cobble together another video. Um, but for now, stay safe, agents. Bye for now.